A driver leaves a mess and a lot of ticked off car owners in a parking garage near UCF after troopers say he hit more than a dozen cars on different levels of that garage. This is just some of the damage you're looking at at the apartment complex in East Orange County. News 6's Amanda Castro reports the driver is suspected of driving under the influence. These are just some of the cars that were damaged overnight. People who live here say they saw car debris all over this parking garage. Troopers telling us they arrested the man who was behind the wheel and caused these crashes. The chances of this happening. UCF junior Kurt Thompson says he was asleep last night when he got a call from troopers saying his car in the parking garage at the Marquee Apartments was involved in a crash. At first he thought it was just a ding. Nothing major, but then I saw that. Uh, it sucks. We saw damaged cars on the second, third, and fourth levels of the garage. UCF freshman Steve Angulo says he left minutes before the wreckage. I see pieces of um, trunks just lying around the road, and it's it was something like unbelievable. It was wow. something really bad. FHP arrested 25 year old James Morris. Troopers say he hit the vehicles and kept driving until finally crashing on the second level. He tried to run away, but witnesses kept him there until FHP arrived. According to the report, Morris didn't remember what happened, but admitted to drinking at a local bar and told troopers he was driving to his home in Oviedo. Troopers say Morris had bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and stumbled while walking. He refused to take a field sobriety test or a breathalyzer. Morris was arrested on suspicion of DUI. I just can't imagine that he would actually hit a car and then just keep going and, and hit another car and then keep going again and again and again. Thompson says he's thankful no one was hurt, but he's still in shock about what happened to his car. To go this distance and do this, this is just a bit too much. In Orange County, Amanda Castro, News 6.